Good afternoon, welcome back to this special extra for our London Canal Loop series. We started here at Limehouse, I think about a year ago, I'll check the exact date on that. And then not that long ago, we ended our loop back here at Limehouse. But we did say we may do a little extra bit, heading down here, down the Limehouse Cut, so we're back to do that today. We're going to go along here, along the Limehouse Cut, which then joins onto the River Lee Navigations, and then from there we will turn onto the Hartford Union Canal, and that then joins back into the Regents Canal at a junction that we saw way back in part one of this series. So we're going to do that little extra loop today. Along the way, not sure exactly how far up, but a little way up here, we will pass the London 2012 Olympic Park, which is now various municipal facilities, and also the, uh, the stadium there became West Ham's um, permanent home, their football ground. So we'll be, might go have a little look at some of that as well. In the middle of a little bit of a drought in the UK at the moment, we had a good few weeks of very hot weather and not much rain. And the weed on the canal seems to be really enjoying the extra sunlight, giving it a lot of extra food. It's been flourishing well, so much so it's created what looks like a solid carpet. It does look like you could stand on there, but you, you really, really can't. It wouldn't hold any more weight than any of the rubbish that's floating around on it. Bank holiday weekend as we're filming this, and it seems to be the uh, the weekend for renting canoes. On our walk down to our starting point, we saw a good number of uh, canoes going up and down the Regents. We feel a very long way above the water here. We're at the roof level of standard narrowboats. The regions, you're much closer to the water level. But then I guess as soon as we left Limehouse, the regents car went up through a number of locks straight away, whereas this hasn't gone through any yet.
on maps it looks like on that side of the river there's a footpath and there sort of is but it's all uh, access to properties and they'd probably much rather for walking you use this side There's another thing here that we saw back in episode one of the London Canal Loop series was the Viking boat and now it's up here and looks like its owner is in today because the back door's open. another little uh, outcrop similar to the one we saw earlier except this time it leads you onto a pontoon footpath under the bridge bouncy footpath oh there's a mallard Mural of a mallard on the building up there. And the weed heals up behind them as if they'd never been there. This footpath's extraordinarily bouncy when you're standing still. So here's boat locks. Be careful how you say that. And up here is the River Lee, which presumably leads down to the Thames at some point. Two sets of gates at either end. I think I've worked out why there's two sets of gates here. You've got that end, 
you've got two sets of gates pointing opposite directions so one's open outwards and one's open inwards and then down here you've got the same again you've got a diamond you've got, well hexagon you've got one set of gates that open outwards one set of gates that open inwards because i guess the river can change level and that's probably owned by one waterways management company and the canal can change level and that's probably owned by a different waterways management company so depending on which end of the lock is higher than the other you need to use a different set of gates because the gates always need to open towards the higher water level so that then the, the weight of the water keeps them closed when you take the lock down so for a little while here we walk on this little sort of spit with the river on one side and the canal on the other. And then up there, on the bridge, there seem to be a load of spurious waterways markers that are there for decoration rather than the meaning, I think. We saw that yellow cross, the yellow saltire, in um, wherever we saw the head of the river race, whichever part that was in. We found out what that yellow saltire means. It's just a special mark that basically means look at your navigation map to find out what it means. Ooh, it's an underground train. the live at no. Okay, no lock. Just a basin with some these are the geese I misidentified previously, these are Egyptian geese. customary swan Quite sure where we go now. I guess over here somewhere. Seems the psychopath goes this way. Oh yeah. Ooh, lots of signets. Mm. 
Here's one of the parents getting a bit of peace and quiet at the back. Fancy new flats going in. This really does look like this car park went in and um, just cut off the footpath there, go straight into the wall. There's a strange little bit of facade. Can I see it on the camera? Turn the brightness down to save battery. It's a weird little bit of facade here. Just the front of a building, I think I'm pointing at it. With nothing behind it, just a framework. Is that a bit of building they've had to save? Or was it a bit of building they built to show what this building here would look like? How strange. The river wall will be lowered here to make a 350 metre long west-facing riverside path with moorings of visiting boats. Oh, how nice. Oh, it's not Three Mills Island, it's Sugar House Island. Tight bend coming up. Sound horn before turning right off the tunnel. <laughs> There's a penguin over there. Some lights lighting up the weed. the right turn under the tunnel. I'm not sure where it goes. Hmm. Different bit of canal potentially. Let's have a look at a map. It appears to be, it's hard to tell what of it is art and what of it is um, rubbish that people have thrown at the art, but I think street art's meant to be a bit like that. Alright, well we've got a canal that carries on straight up that way. We've got a canal that goes off that way. So I'm going to have to have a look at a map and work out where we want to be. Back in a sec. So this one <coughs> seems to be That's the Pudding Mill River. Pudding, Pudding Mill River. 
I mean, I hadn't planned this far ahead for there to be branches. Okay, so I've had a look on the map. That is Pudding Mill River or City Mill River or Waterworks River. If you go up there, you go round the far side of the London 2012 Olympic site, which is over here. There's the stadium just there and the acelomittal orbital here, which is sort of a sculpture slash slide slash not really sure so it's various other bits of waterways that used to run through here um, and presumably power various mills and things that used to be on this land here that were then ceased to be of use a long time ago but we're going to carry on straight up here rather than diverting off around those we're going to carry on along the main bit of the river and come up this side of the stadium. Just spotted another boat that we saw previously, this one Luna with the Henry Hoovers on the top. With plants in them, or actually one of them there is a Henry Hoover with a glitter ball in it, which is kind of cool. So yeah, we saw this one previously, but I can't remember which part. Oh, we've got some signs. What have we got? Oh, the Capital Ring again. The Capital Ring, if we were to do it, would be... The Capital Ring would be a relatively short series. Uh, probably a bit longer than this one, so who knows how many years that would take us. If we were to do the, the London Loop, uh, the London Outer Orbital Path, that one would take forever. That is a long, long walk. Oh, lovely. The London Outfall Sewer. That is one large sewer. Or four separate sewers. I think this might be where that um, river we saw go off earlier. I think this might be where that rejoins again. But I'll have to check the map again to be certain. I think that might be the stadium just there. So we might go for a bit of a walk down there, see what we can see that way, and then come back here. It's the only reason Kerry's come on this walk is to have a look at the football stadium.
There you go, Queen Elizabeth Olympic Park. There are actually gates in from the towpath here, so I wonder if they're open on match days. Coming along the towpath, more up your boat and just go and watch the game. We've decided we're going to do a little loop around the stadium. This is one of those rivers, if we'd gone off earlier, we would have come around here, but we can do a little loop around the stadium and then loop back to where we were and carrying up the river. Ooh, access into the stadium. So this, as the signs say, is Carpenter's Road Lock that looks to have guillotine gates, which is funky. That takes you out of the Waterworks River over a really cool reflective bridge. See the water reflected in it. And this way is the City Mill River that we saw the other end of earlier. And the climbing wall. Yeah, uh, a cellar metal orbital here. Gone a bit of controversy when it was built, as most art does. It's not the prettiest of things. It probably looked a little bit nicer when it was a bit more recently painted. But as far as I know, you can basically take a lift up the middle to a viewing platform up there. And then that sort of grey mesh covered spiral on the way down is a giant spiral slide and you slide back down again. 
not the red bit over the top, that would be a bit much. <laughs> oh, actually, I think I might be wrong. The, the main bit up here is the lift shaft and that might be stairs up and then it could be, can you just about see down here I'll see if I can draw a line down it on the video there's a small silver pipe that winds around the right hand side there I think that's more likely to be the slide actually I think it has, yes you can just about see, if I zoom in on a bit of it you can just about see it has a clear top so you can see out when you're going down there and uh, a metallic base and there's someone abseiling down there as well I am, yes, so I am exactly opposite on the other side of the water. Oh. Well, see, look, now, this is the sort of difference between Kerry and I. Kerry's interested on in, in the stuff because I'm in the stadium. I'm interested in these here, which I'm pretty sure are the artificial sunlights that they use. Yes, they are. These are the artificial sunlights that they use to uh, grow the turf. I can't make it focus through there. And you can actually see the pitch just up there. Can I make it focus? There we go. It's the pitch up there. Oh, we've got the stadium store and cafe down here. Right, now we need to get back to a river. Done a football bit.
You can tell we're heading back to where we were because of the siren going off still. Yeah, back to where we were a little while ago. I've seen a few of these, the uh, converted lifeboat boats, but I've not seen one quite that converted to put a dormer window in the side of it. 50 person capacity. You wouldn't want 50 persons in a boat that size, but if that's your only option and the other option is drowning, then I think you'd go with it. The stadium now in the bit in the distance with the slide behind it. Yes, we want to be down there, but we're going to have to go up over a bridge to get there.
Oh, this is a permanent thing over here, or a temporary thing. Oh, you can <laughs> you can buy things from the uh, canalwood side of the boat because, of course, you can. Massive holes in the top of that building. Strange. Paddle boarding. There is a serious amount of lock gate overflow going on up here. And it's even flowing around usual channels as well. The sound of that is quite impressive and it smells like a water park. Yeah, the water level is a bit... a bit very high up here. It's um, just lapping over the edge of this stone that's dropped a little. And it's even flying over the gate at this end of the lock. So my hope is this doesn't mean that someone's left the paddles open at that lock up there 
and is just draining the canal very quickly through this lock. Because even when they drain this lock, the water's still going to be flowing in at quite a speed over the top of these gates. So that's going to be fun for them. An interesting idea floating down the river on the massive pink flamingo. There should be a large flow of water here because these gates aren't being held shut. No, they don't look to have been left open either. No idea. No, it looks fine, just a bit of a leaky gate up there, which is pretty normal. It looks and sounds like there's some sort of festival going on over here. We can hear the thrumming bass of some music and maybe what sounds like a fun fair. And then there's a filming drone has been flying around, presumably filming for them. And uh, behind us, back up here are some chaps on the far side of the river with a uh, sound meter making sure that they don't exceed their um, allotted volume and annoy the neighbours. Now this, I'm also certain it's a festival because I tried to look at what it was on my phone and couldn't get a signal. So I'll have to look that up afterwards and put it on the screen now. houses. The canal is not being lovely and calm and sedate and quiet around here today. It's very loud and noisy. Bow Wharf Moorings. We agreement holders only. Ah, now, the fact there's a boat up there going sideways across this canal can only mean one thing, that that is the Regent's Canal. Pretty sure it was the Regent's Canal. And that we're nearly at the end of this little extra loop. Kerry just did a little celebratory uh, gesture next to me. <laughs> it's been about, what did we reckon, about 11, 12 kilometres this? Yes. It's been a long afternoon, but it's been nice. Regent's Lake Banqueting Hall. Very nice. <laughs> A kayak slung under the balcony there.
So on our first part we saw some people here um, getting into canoes on the river I think from up on that bridge. Here we are, back in the Regent's Canal. Just come up there. So, thank you for watching. I'm not sure exactly what we'll be doing next. The slow TV videos will probably continue. We'll see where we go from here on slightly more chatty videos like these. But thank you for watching. If you feel like subscribing, please subscribe. Put a comment below if you've got any suggestions on things we can do next.